All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to dive right back into it and uh, let me know if you see issues, all right? Fingers crossed. Why do we have to carry this sack of shit? He's heavy as hell. Shut the fuck up. Mathis says carry the asshole. We carry him. They're getting closer. You hear about what happened to Leclerc? Don't believe everything you hear, dumbass. Arrow in the chest, man! The chest! No wolves be doing that. Really? Wolves don't use bows. You figure that out all by yourself? Piss off. Something's hunting us out here, and it ain't just wolves. Mathis will figure it out. What the hell are we even doing out here? Remember the plan. First we get Donner out. Donner! That crazy fucker! This is bullshit! Shh. He's coming back here. Order. Hey! Hey, Mathis! He's finally awake. Well, well. He lives. No thanks to you. Turns out you have a damn hard head, pilot. I told you I was stubborn. <laughs> Woman. Hmm. Oh, you mean the one you asked about in the dam? Yeah. She's still there. Won't be going anywhere soon. You bastard. Relax, Mackenzie. She had nothing to do with you. How do you... Just some... old lady lost in the woods. Wandered into the dam when I was there. She saw me and wouldn't stop screaming, so... I shut her up. Monster. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Why are you so worried about her? I... It doesn't matter. Could it have anything to do with this? I told you I have no idea what that is. Well, it's okay, pilot. We'll find a way to open it very soon. And then we'll both know what's inside. Hey, uh, Mackenzie? Yeah. You look like shit. Shit, Mathis! How long we have to carry this heavy bastard for? Shut up, man. That heavy bastard may be our ticket off this rock, so carry him. I haven't Correct tried it yet, fix it. Interesting. Shut the fuck up. A Milton Hushed River. That'd be interesting. They found us! I need a weapon. Come and get some! Alright, let's do this. I'm holding shift W already. Run, Will, run! Go! No. 
go. All right, folks, let me know. Uh, sorry about that full start here. Intense, yeah, we got some action like a circus. I haven't heard that intense joke before. Welcome in, Stiff, good to see you. And everyone, thanks for being patient if you have stuck around through the tech difficulties. It's been a uh, first time in a while we had to deal with that. Side out of mind, right? Where did he go? You better get him, or there'll be hell to pay. I don't think they can get me here, even if they saw me. Alright, let's crouch. Snappy crouch. It legs again? No, are you serious? No! Oh god, what's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, folks. Maybe it's not that area in your bare bend. Yeah, we're getting some more drop frames. What is happening today? I went like months without any any stream technical difficulties. Maybe I need to just like run some updates on my PC and clean it up or something. I don't know. Yeah, we're getting some bad luck here today. Um, I'll, let's give it a let's give it a couple minutes and see if it settles. It settles. If not, then like I said, I'll have to do some I'll do some work today. Yeah, Helen, we're trying, but my um, PC's giving me a headache. I got um, I got some leg. You just finished the VOD? Nice. I restart. I restarted my router already. What's a gateway? I need a smoke. Never mind the wolves. We gotta find it fast. What the hell? Let him run. He won't get far with those wolves hunting him. Look, you dumbass. Mathis says the pilots are taken off this damn island. Don't you want to get back to the mainland? But Eller, the arrow in the chest, man. Let's go find this guy before Mathis loses his temper again. You know what he's like when he's angry. Let's go. Between Mattis and the wolves, I have a bad feeling about this place. Better keep going. I don't know, folks. Bitrate, yeah, the bitrate's going all over the place. Just give it a second to see if it settles down, but yeah, this is not good. I'm sorry, gateway is the same. Yeah, it is a mo it's a modem router together. It lags for like 30 seconds and goes back to normal. Yeah, see right now, Bitrate seems okay. It says the quality of the stream is good. Let's see what happens. Let me know. Very strange. Like I said, I might need to run updates and clean stuff up or something, you know? A few minutes, yeah. I'll try. I'll try to. Don't worry, I'm not gonna give up yet. But it's super frustrating. I know when you're watching a stream and it's um, the tech technical issues are are taking over. You know, the bit rate's established. It seems. I'm watching on my <laughs> secondary. It seems to be a bit better now, but yeah, keep uh, keep me posted. Let me know as soon as you see. You get all the time. You pick back up in a few minutes. It's more the internet prior. Oh, see, that's the thing. I'm used to like really stable, 
stable internet. I, the provider, providers are really like next door to me. I think I don't know how I don't know how the internet works. <laughs> it could be, um, it could be like, I think I'm beside like the person who sells the internet, so it's like faster, you know. But it, not, it might not be. That might not be the case. <laughs> All right, let's cut ourselves out of here. We're free, and we can pick our rose hips. We can pick the rose hips, right? Let me pick the hips. All right, let's go. We're doing it again, folks. Once was not enough. I don't know. There's something about this region. I just want to keep uh, going around it a bit. I don't know if I explored it all either. And right now we have no HUD other than um, we have this like sprint bar. I don't know why. We don't have any of our, our sprint bar. 40% reduction, but why? But why? Don't they just take them away from you? Oh, oh right. Well, this is, this is like, honestly, Sphinx? <laughs> the biggest reason I want to redo this whole thing is so I can like, not have all my stuffs taken from me because they took they took everything from me. I just I didn't realize it. I, I hid my knives and my weapons, and I was like, ah, that's fine. And they took everything I found on my first whole rip around the mountain. I noticed this, folks. Can can we um can we comment? Notice notice how easy it is to pick hips here instead of climb. I think they fixed that. I think they fixed the hip. Hip hit box. The hip hip. The hip hip box? No, the hip hit box. They fixed it. Do you remember seeing that cabin out exploring? No. Uh, I feel like. I feel like that was, um. Like an intro part of the Looks region. Looks like I finally found a connection zone, maybe. It's impossible, but I do nothing every day. We have unfinished business, pilot. Thank you, Fragile. Six months. <laughs> nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. That's awesome. Fragile, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much. I thought there was a note. I didn't even get to the cabin. It wouldn't even let me go there. Wait, what? You tell me I missed a note? Seriously? <laughs> Oh, we gotta restart. We gotta restart. Oh, yeah, the hitbox for Val is not the same. Yeah, well, let me know if anyone knows about this note in this place I missed already, right off the bat.
Oh, right. Sphinx, my hips. No. Stand on the toilet and you can reach the window. Aha, I caught him. All right, so did I seriously miss a note? That's important. There you are. Well, welcome to the shit show. Okay. So who are you? Unfortunately, I run this place. That doesn't seem to be working out too well for you. Yes, well, normally I'm on the other side of the bars. Name's Franklin. I'm warden here at Black Rock. And you are? Mackenzie. Franklin, what's going on here? The situation is this. You and I are locked up in here. Mathis and his gang of thugs are trying to break someone out of solitary. We're still alive. Yes, hardened survivor. So they must need us for something. The power's been out for days, and nobody is coming to help. Sounds about right. So, Black Rock? Yeah. Maximum security prison. Built a hundred years ago and updated a few times. It's basically a fortress. Out here? You notice the walls on your way in? I was, uh... No. Okay, well, they aren't that high or that impressive, really. You know why? No idea. Because whatever dumb son of a bitch tries to escape from this place has to get through about 50 clicks of brutal terrain full of dangerous wildlife before they can even think about finding a road that leads out of here. Well, but we got here. Yeah, but are you going to get out? About 20 years ago, a pair of cons escaped. They came back three days later, half dead, begging us to take them back. And that was in the middle of summer. I get the picture. So, Mathis, you know him? Oh yeah, we go way back. He was in for murder on the mainland about 10 years ago. He did seven and then got off on parole. I was warden at one of the federal pens there and, well, let's just say Mathis isn't sending me any Christmas cards these days. Any idea what he's doing here? Unfortunately, yeah. He's here for Donner. Donner? Who's that? His son. Shit. So, some kind of twisted family reunion. Mathis is bad, but he's old school bad. Murder, larceny, the occasional heist, and grand theft auto. But Donner? He's a chip off the old block, and then some. So, not a good person. Well, he's locked up in Blackrock, isn't he? Listen, Mathis is bad, but Donner is something much worse. I've seen a lot of criminals in my years, and Donner, he's one of those guys that keeps wardens like me up at night. He's evil to the core. He's the kind of guy they make prisons like Black Rock for. There's no redemption for guys like Donner. They aren't here for rehabilitation. There's no way back to living in regular society again. They just want to destroy the world you and I live in. If Mathis is bad, Donner is biblical bad. So... Donner is a very bad guy. Mathis came here to spring him. Tell me again why we aren't dead yet. Well, that's a story. Power went out here a couple of weeks ago now. The backups held for a while, but eventually the cons were able to break out and overwhelm the guards. They grabbed the keys to solitary, went to get Donner, which, well, that would have been the end but they couldn't open the gates to solitary. Something has them locked down tight and it's driving Mathis crazy. It was 
bad for us. I haven't seen any of the other guards since they locked me up in here, and, well, I fear the worst. And now that Mathis is here? But with the power down, what's keeping the gates locked? There are mechanical fail-safes in the system. Keep in mind, most of this jail is pretty old. But that's not the full answer to why Donner is still locked up. What do you mean? Well, best I can tell, they should have been able to break him out by now. But something, or someone, has been getting in the way. You mean, there's someone else still out there? That's exactly what I mean. But who? I don't know. But sounds like Mathis is as mad as a hornet because of them, and that brings me no small pleasure. Shit! They're coming. Get back to your bunk. Right. Oh, not quite yet. So, pilot, you're back in the land of the living. For now. Yeah. Thanks, Silty. I appreciate say you. you. Gives me a headache. <laughs> well, just seeing you makes me want to hit people. So, Warden, looks like we have a little problem. I still can't get into solitary. You have any idea why that might be? I told you, Mathis, the whole jail is in some kind of weird lockdown. It all happened before you got here. Donner just... <laughs> Don't you ever say his name. I don't know anything about it. My guys say someone's been tampering with the system. They say it's gotten worse. Every time they take a step closer to breaking into solitary, something new gets in their way. Didn't you used to run this place? Yeah. So you're telling me you have no idea how it works? That's just the thing. Nothing is working the way it's supposed to right now. Bullshit. Stop wasting my time. And stop wasting your time. You don't have much left. Unless we get that door open. Mathis, I don't know anything. Let me jog your memory. Hey! Hey, Mathis! so hard. Like, we might still need him to get him out. Mathis, uh, he doesn't look good. You're going too far. <laughs> Clean him up. is getting worse. This shit with Donner has him half crazy. Half crazy? Ever since the bus crash, he's been getting wild, like a caged animal. How the hell did he expect this to turn out? You remember Montreal, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, remember that place on St. Catherine's with the girl <clears throat> who... Not that, you fucking moron. Remember how Mathis broke out? Oh, yeah. I wasn't there, but I heard about it. Right. You clean up the warden, and I'll tell you all about it. So there was this really tight plan. Mathis had months to set it up. Everyone had their part to play. It was like, out of a fucking movie. So we bust out, and all hell breaks loose. We get to the front gates. <laughs> it's a mess, right? Place is in chaos. And the driver who's supposed to pick us up, he's late. No shit. No shit. So the driver pulls up, like, two minutes late. Alarms going off everywhere. It's like, the prison guards are coming after us. We're gonna get grabbed at any second. We're yelling at Mathis, come on, man, let's go, let's get out of here. 
And Mathis just stands there, looking at the fucking driver. Looking like he wants to eat the guy. The driver's terrified. Mathis walks over to the van, slowly. We're all jumping in and yelling to get out, and we... And we can see the fucking guards coming. Like, we are done. We need to get out. Mathis, he pulls the driver out of the van, looks back at us, and... With this totally wild look in his eyes, just says, go. Like, totally calmly, but with this wild edge. And he just starts beating the living shit out of the driver. Wow. I knew it went bad in Montreal, but I didn't know that story. Yeah. I mean, we took off. And Mathis? It took five cops to pull him off that driver. He cared less about being caught than he did about the driver being late. Crazy fucker. Mathis is not a patient man. He does not like it when a plan does not come together. He does not like to be let down. And right now, his plan for getting Donner out of here is totally fucked. It's just a matter of time before he... snaps. Like he did in Montreal. He looks bad, eh? What are we going to do? If he dies, it'll be worse for us because we'll take the heat. We need to get him patched up. Well, we passed some kind of first aid building on the way in. Great. Go there and grab some supplies. No fucking we. You hear all those wolves out there? Don't be an asshole. Go do it. You do it. Why do I have to be the one who... Hey, who went back to look for Leclerc when he went missing? No way I'm going back out there. I'll do it. Did you hear something? I said I'll do it. Let me out. And I'll get the supplies. Nobody's talking to you, pilot. Just keep quiet and hope that Mathis doesn't start paying attention to you. He dies and you guys take the rap. You want that? The rap? Take the rap? Who talks like that? Listen, pilot. Why don't you shut the fuck up? What do you have to lose? I go out there, get attacked by wolves? No great loss, right? Wait a second, man. This is a bad idea. Hey, Deadpool, thanks for the host. For this guy. Seems better now. Good to Shut see up. Cindy. All right. Cheers. You're right. You've been out in the bush all this time. I'm sure you figured out how to deal with a few wolves by now. We let you out. You get the supplies. The warden lives and maybe. We keep Mathis distracted so he doesn't lose his shit on you next time. Understood. You let me out, <laughs> I get the it's supplies. Good. The warden lives. Ha! You see? He learns fast. Time to save the day, pilot. Don't fuck it up. Okay. How's our shot? Alright. <clears throat> I got a plan. So... Oh, not quite yet. We'll talk, we'll talk. <clears throat> Get going, pilot. The warden doesn't have much time left. And in case you're thinking of running away, remember. Hey, Serene, welcome in. I still have your precious case. Ah, yeah, sorry, folks. We're having some stream issues today. I've got some leg spikes <sighs> coming in and out. So Brutal, bear, deadly cold. Bear. How I've missed you. <laughs> I like that. I love that. We got this lovely. Lovely barrel here. Okay, so we got Mackenzie's boots, his pants, his shirt, his sweater, sports socks, and undies. Also, somehow we managed to get a bunch of tea. We don't have a can yet. All right, let's do this, folks. So the plan is to actually uh, not lose anything. I'm going to set a separate stash point for, like... Prison whales clothes. <laughs> hey, kinda welcome in. Elvanui, good to see you. Welcome. Anyone uh, who's just tuning in, thanks for joining me. I basically uh, had a few issues here with the stream this morning, so 
Hopefully we're squared away. I don't know. We'll see. But if there are major issues, I'll cut it. I'll cut it and try it either again later or tomorrow. But I want to stream this. I want to. I really am like. It's so funny. Like I was up till. I don't want to say it. I was. I was awake way past my bedtime. Uh, last night watching Perfect Trip play this, and I was watching. You know, and I was just like, oh, this is so good. I want to play it again. And then I was thinking about the music. It was in my head yesterday. <laughs> it's just like, I'm I'm addicted. But they did a good job with this, and I think I, uh... It's not that I rushed through it. I just want to do a bit more, you know? I want to go through... And just, um, experience this again. And maybe as, as we can on chat, we can discuss a bit more, you know? We can chat a little bit more about things. Yeah, now I'm not worried about spoilers, basically, is what I'm saying. So... What do we got here? That's a good bin to put all my stuffs in. Alright, let's get out there. It's been kind of fun seeing like pros work through some of the puzzles. Yeah, like when I first played, I couldn't find the way out of here. For the life of me. I think I spent a day and a half in game. Ooh, matches, wandering around, trying to get, you know, sorted out. And finally I found that door, you know? Uh oh. Oh, that's a nice little lump of coal in there. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Another pair of socks, I'll take it. My husband got recruited by some old navy buddy of his. This was in the early 50s, and we weren't exactly in a good spot then. As I found out later from some of the other wives, no good road leads to Black Rock. We had a little cabin and a hamlet a ways away from the prison. A lot of the staff lived nearby, but not all. Some put as much distance between them and the prison as possible, even when winters made that a, touch, a tough go when you had a shift. I tried not to think about what went on up there, a change of my husband somehow. He was a sweet man, if a little lost and lucky in his work, like a lot of men were back then. But our time on Great Bear at that place, well, it left him sad in a way I can't explain. I tended a garden, wrote endless letters to my sisters, that's how I remember those years. Endless writing, waiting to leave as the seasons passed. Alright, we got an archival report, we got a pry bar. Oh, so now we gotta go back and reloot those cars. I think it'd be awesome to get into three or four regions. Hush River Mountain Town Mystery and PB. I think, yeah, Milton is a given. <clears throat> and then, like, the vibes of the region are so Hush River, Ash Canyon y that I don't see why it wouldn't be uh, a two or three way connection. And then, two, as I'm running around this map, like, this is, like, you know, of course, what I'm thinking about. I got accelerant, right? Um, I'm gonna look at the map here in a minute, but... That should help warm things up. Oh, I don't have any maps yet? <gasps> but anyways, um... <laughs> There's, like, a bunch of caves at different kind of, uh, edges of the map. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if some of them turn into transition caves instead of just, like, the regular old outdoor cave. As sometimes Hinterland tweaks tweaks things when it goes to survival. And two, how are they gonna deal with all these underground, you know, pipes and whatnot? The dethawing mechanic. Oh, we still don't have a can, eh? Oh my. Sure, let's throw a lump of coal in, why not?
Where am I? We'll grab a torch too. We'll head. Keep the strider rolling. Only good torches through well. Uh, I found a show on Netflix, Alice in Borderland. You got hooked? Ooh, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'm watching um, Squid Games right now. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> heavy stuff. But Serena will check it out. As, uh, as big of a zone it is, yeah, it's just... Uh, I want to almost go into like Survival Sandbox to look at the map map, you know? But it's, it's like you have Mystery Lake in the middle, so like my nose, and then outwards you have, like on this side, Milton, then Hushed, and on this side you have like PV and then, you know, Timberwolf Ash the, up in this corner. So in the whole middle, that whole V area, you've got all that space. You're looking at this map? Oh, here we go. Yeah, so um, you can have a look at this, folks, and see what I'm saying? It's like, there's like a big uh, bowl in between Hush Mountain, Mystery, Pleasant, Timberwolf, and Ash, that whole area, that northern, central northern mountainous range. That whole area there is like, I don't know, good opportunity for this, this big old map. Plus two, it is a big map. It's gonna take up some real estate. Close the door on your way out, Will. Hello. Your feathers? All right, I'm gonna just rip over, over down here. No reason. I'm just gonna go check out this dude <laughs> that I remember meeting over here, you know? everywhere and now I can do this in style like oh I know what I'm doing <laughs> oh and to another thing I wanted to do was break down everything like all the boxes in that van for some reason I was really keen on that okay it wasn't this one which one was it all right over here You don't think it will connect Hush over to Ash? No, no, I don't think it will either, but I think, like, on that side of the map, like, the Milton Hush River side, we deserve something. We deserve something over there. Alright, let's go inside. Ah, home sweet home. Cans laying around in here. Coffee, yeah, we got we got our first can. I found um, can openers too early. I remember. Whoa, microwave just smacked me around. There's another one, but we can't open it yet. Or it's mentioned the possibility of transition maps thrown, which would be interesting. Well, that's what I was wondering about. Oh, there we go. Use this. Um, that that spot where Will's getting dragged around at the beginning. Like, what's that about? Is that a transition zone, or is that like a bonus story mode map that they built? Just it sounded like inside my head. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of things I'm curious about still, and we don't have all the answers yet. Oh, I can't pick that one up. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I can. Just had a weird hitbox. Okay, what's going on? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, yeah we were. 
and a coffee. I can't miss that. Right, that lockbox we can't get into. A pair of sneakers that we can collect. Doink. Hold on, what's in here? Black Rock's establishment as a maximum security incarceration complex is a mixture of truth, legend, and good old-fashioned hyperbole, but its founding is without question bound up with the history of Great Bear Island. The local community is almost as a rule, steer clear of the penitentiary. Whether that is due to reasonable caution or unreasonable fear, no one can say. There are still others who claim that nothing can match the harshness of winter living on Great Bear, and that islanders should feel secure in their own hearty resilience. They are tougher than any prison inmate. And by that, that wolf did sound close. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get greedy and like haul so much water around, you know? What I want is cloth. I should grab some cloth, potentially. I know I have a bunch, but that way I have enough to do what I need to do. I think we're gonna leave the flashlight behind until the end game. You know, for reasons. This will come handy. Oh yeah, it will. Yeah, it will, will. Slams closed. I forgot about that. soon we forget as we found a couple ways across the ravine didn't know there's a footbridge yeah there's a few odds and ends for the warden I remember um, like I remember seeing in the distance oh there's a bridge there all right who cares I'm gonna go to this mission <laughs> or like the first time um, PT I saw the cabin that you found um, but I didn't see the cabin I saw the moose and the pond and I was like, there's something over there. I don't care right now. But that's the thing, is like, there's probably a lot of stuff on this map, because it's such a big, such a big map. <clears throat> I want to just kind of like, poke my head around a bit more, you know? I just want to have a look, a look around. Look through, look through some cupboards, you know? Russell threw some papers. I don't really need water purification tablets. Just seen this bridge when you're looking at a missing power plant worker, I suppose. If I send you, would you understood you right? Oh, um, yeah, I can't go to the map now, but there's, like, one power plant worker that it's kind of a pain to get to. Oh, hold on. Read this memo. We got a call from the main gate about some kind of accident uh, down the hill. Okay, I won't be able to do this with that ringing in my ears. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just let me look through a couple... Give me a minute. Don't... 
Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Ooh, coffee. No! Hello? Hello? Uh, el hello? What the hell are you? Well, I could ask you the same question. Quit fucking around. It's not Molly, Who dog. I'm nobody important. Just a bush pilot. My name is, uh... You forgot your name. My name's Mackenzie. Sounds like her right now, but it isn't. Well, Mr. Mackenzie. Not Mr. Mackenzie. Just Mackenzie. Okay, okay, wow. that was me. <laughs> Bush pilot Mackenzie. Welcome to the party. You working for those assholes in prison? Which ones? I mean, no. No, I'm not working for them. Then what are you doing out here? Where are you calling me from? Somewhere safe. Look, Mr. Mackenzie, soon you're gonna have to figure out whose side you're on in this little stalemate we have going on. I don't know anything about a stalemate. And I'm not on anyone's side. I'm on my own side. Well, at least you're honest. That's a start. Where are you? And what do you want? Ooh-wee. That question has a long damn answer. Right now, I'm safe from those prison assholes. But I cannot say the same for you. Look, the prison warden, he's injured. I'm just trying to keep him alive. So they let you out of the prison. Then they're just gonna let you back in? Right. But you aren't helping them? No. Something about this situation, about you, doesn't fit. Look, why don't you tell me where you are and maybe I can help you? <laughs> help me? Shit, man. You can't even help yourself. Are you the one that's messing up the convict's plans? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Either way, I'm not telling you. Interesting, How do I know Rhea. You are really one of Donner's boys trying to trap me. Donner. So you know about him. Wake up, man. This is all about Donner. Don't you get that? And I'm the only thing standing between that fucker rotting away in solitary and an evil bastard being unleashed of the rest of this frozen hellhole. Well, I mean, I hear it's nice in the summer. <laughs> what do you got, Dipple? Take care of yourself, Mr. Mackenzie. Those wolves sound pretty hungry to me. I'll do my best. Well, that was weird. All right. Got her all my nose. Now can I loot a little bit more, please? Where you at? Oh, what kind of clips you got for me? What you got? What you got? Okay, I think I got everything. I think we looted. Oh, we missed something. Yeah, it's my second run. Uh, so we've gone through here already once, and I did okay. But I just want to go through it again, you know, and uh, take my time. Kind of investigate a few things that I'm curious about. Now, did we get what we need? I don't even remember. Let's see. I think I got the gate key. Yeah, we got it. Took a note on the floor. Oh god. Oh god. Is this have, does this have some cursing in a Deadpool? <laughs> Let me just watch this here. Based on the title, maybe. I can warn chat. I'm sure they'll understand. All right, chat, brace yourself. Brace yourself, okay? You can. You have to put your mouth, your mouth on, all right? Your mouth, okay?
Fuck me. <laughs> How are your pants? How are your pants, then, <laughs> Oh, man. Just to change them up to that. That bear, that, that bear actually, um, I, I didn't do quite the same thing, but he surprised me. And the first thing I did was pull out my rifle and shoot him. And then he mauled me. And then when I woke up, he was, like, stuck on top of Will. Like, glitching out. And he just insta-mauled me again. But that bear was a, a, a surprise. <laughs> I think I took the note on the floor. I don't know. I don't know. Here, let's see what notes I have in my uh, inventory. I've got the archival report, which is in the bus, and then I've got the memo, which was in the infirmary. So... That must have been the one you're talking about. I can go back. It's not too late. I've unlocked it. Yeah, that's um, that's the beauty about this this uh, episode. Is there's a lot of moments like that where you're like, you know, oh wait, I can't get in there. You know, you're running around, messing with uh, missions, and then all of a sudden you're getting attacked by timber wolves. <laughs> all right. Memo on the floor. Oh. See, it's just... It just blends in. It's just junk. It's more junk. Redshift supervisors. Once again, we are left wondering what it is exactly that Murph is up to when he arrives late for his shifts. Today marks six times this month and no one seems to know where he is. We know he's off grounds and on foot instead of in his truck. Given his current shift requirements, the warden is not ready to initiate an official disciplinary a disciplinary ah, response. So we are copying the doctor on this memo as well. In case medical or psychiatric support is needed for Murph. But first, we need to find him. He was seen previously heading down the low river near the block bridge south of the penitentiary. We are well aware of what isolation can do out here, but we have a job to do just the same. Nice one, Finn. All right, let's get let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. No, I don't know. grab a book or two for the fire, you know. I wonder if my fire is still lit, speaking of, probably not. Okay, so we- oh, I could craft a- no, cloth is too valuable. I was gonna say, we, we don't have the noisemaker recipe yet. So we can't even do that. I was mauled by uh, a bear that swung teleported 10 meters. I actually saw that happen to PT at uh, Miner's Folly, but he didn't get mauled. He was able to run off. But it was like he was, it was like he was like looking, you know, right in front of him. And then the bear was like right here, all of a sudden, standing. Rawr, I'm here. <laughs> it was just like, you know, 15 feet in front of him. The bear was just suddenly there. Pretty funny. Well, not funny, horrifying, but, like, glad it wasn't me. Ooh, highly aggressive wolf. To make a tough winter even tougher, we have got some new reports of that unusual wolf we dealt with last year. It's back, apparently. We had hoped its roaming had taken it far afield and away from the grounds, but these sighting and its aggressive behavior are conclusive. To help us understand if this is an issue with a single animal or part of a larger pattern on the island, we've engaged the regional ecologist to conduct a short study and give us some options. <clears throat> Hey, Sam, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Grim Gang. In the meantime, stay vigilant. When outside the grounds are far away from your vehicles when traveling. Dr. Gordon, the blue shift supervisor. It's D. Gordon, as in Gordon Freeman. Blue shift, as in one of the expansions to the Half-Life. Come on, come on now. Okay, so... We're, we're diving in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But Blue Shift, I loved it. I played Half-Life, and Half-Life was so good. I wanted more. So they came out with a... Exp it, it wasn't like a DLC back then. It was like a little game. So Opposing Force came out, where you played as the bad guys. So instead of being Gordon Freeman, you were the you were the enemy. And then another game called out came out called Blue Shift, where you played as the, the guards. Yeah, the guards at uh, Black Mesa. 
So I think that's just a real fun little um, nod that Hinterland's done. That's like, to me, that's like full on, you know? They're hitting us hard over the head with this one. It's not subtle, but I love it. Thank you, Hinterland, for Hungry stuff like later. that. Stuff like that really, um, really gets my motor going, you know? Notes on notes on notes. Donated food packs. We're gonna need some volunteers to dig into a few of these rations that got dropped on us. We'll be in the barracks tonight with the cook to open them up. If they're any good, we might just keep them for ourselves. Show up at 7 if you're interested. Howie. Half-Life was my first online... Me too, Captain. Like, I played... <laughs> I played, um... Half-Life like crazy. Like, the original Team Fortress and Counter-Strike, those games, all that stuff. That was my jam. Uh... What have we here? So good. Five men, all serving life sentences at Black Rock, reportedly escaped the prison grounds last month. Authorities reveal they escaped in a leaked memo acquired by a coalition of media outlets currently investigating Can Canadian correctional facilities. Of the five, one returned on his own. One was found dead by pursuing officers, and three remain missing. Prison officials seem confident all three also died navigating the rough terrain that surrounded the notorious prison, according to the leaked memo. Oh, did they? We're getting lots of... Lots of clippings in here. We found more contraband noisemakers on the last suite. Well made, all things considered. And with all the wolves moving into the region, maybe we can put them to good use. I bet they're darn loud, so don't light them off unless you mean it. And thanks to PT, I know that these this. now don't take up a light source. Um, just pretend that Will found a prison lighter that's just like a, you know, a Bic lighter that doesn't have any fuel. It just has a spark, so he can spark it, but it doesn't cost a match. Well, 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 well. What well. do we have here? I love that. Okay, we're gonna... Hey, uh, I kicked Grim off earlier. Is there seriously just one? Uh, no, two. I got two in this mode. I killed them both. There's one at Cook's, and then there's one at the cabin. That's, if you look at the map, I don't know if I have it yet. It's sort of on the far west, southwest corner. Hey, yeah, uh, Grim's back. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> okay, sit down. Sit down, buddy. Two bear, at least, that I found, and two moose. Noisemakers are highly effective, and we're gonna prepare us a few of them. Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. Hey Tess, good to see you. A two is snack time. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Before we go crazy, let's actually make a fire. Now we'll save the accelerant for emergencies. You know we're smart. We've wised up. Oh, look at this beauty sky. Hold on, that's a screenshot. Oh, I lost the color. I lost the color. It was kind of like that nice pink, you know? And like that, I was gone. Thanks for lurking, Silty. Appreciate you. Grim's here. Oh, hey, Wands. Good to see you too, Tess. Happy uh, Friday. There are at least two moves. I think two is probably the... the yeah, it's a big map, so two's a generous amount. It's no bleak inlet. But it's pretty good. And I got them within, you know, a few days of each other. So it's not like... It's not like there's one moose spawn at two locations. It's like there's, there's two moose that can be up at the same time. Having your coffee in your wands mug. <laughs> Cheers. 
That's so cool. Yeah, some people are posting on the Discord. I should put a whole channel. Show off your merch, you know? Start getting some uh, some other folks jealous. Oh, I need that mug. <laughs> but that's awesome. I'm glad. Um, what's the quality like, Tess? Is it clear? Like, is the image okay? Let me know, because um, I want to order some as well. But, you know, I want to hear from you guys first if they're any good. <laughs> All this food. Mm -mm -mm. Have you tried the Winter Survival Sim? I haven't. Um, Sam, I tried a couple of games that were like kind of similar to this one. So one that I played was Northern Lights. You know, I enjoyed it, but it definitely wasn't long dark. For me, the long dark is kind of like super unique and very special. And any game that's just kind of like trying to do the long dark. I don't know. I'll, I'll check it out, but I don't know. I didn't get into it. I didn't get into that one at least. Okay. One can left. I think that's it. So we've got a few noisemakers. Last time I made, I made five because I just went crazy and I used all my cans up. Well, maybe, maybe we should make Another one. Hey, why wouldn't we? Noise makers. We'll find more cans later. Back to work. All right, Kandel. Thanks for hanging. Have a good work day. Okay, let's grab a bunch of torches. Ah, uh, yeah. Post a clip. Um, yeah, uh, Finn should work. It looks great. Nice. Glad to hear it, Tess. Yeah, if there's quality issues, I'd be on top of it. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Moose. <laughs> nice spin. I know exactly what clip that was. If that happened yesterday, that's at the um, the cabin at the corner of the map. Like I, like I said, oh, we have the map now. So right here on this lake, is a moose spawn. Uh, I forget what it's called. Bricklayers. Bricklayers cabin. And then over here, it's right around here, I'd say, is the cook's cook's residence with the moose. So that's two moose, like within spitting distance of each other. Oh, we're set. We're gonna have to do some uh, inventory management here in a minute. A thermal. Yeah, I started again. I'm doing another run. I'm gonna go for a clean break for whale. No deaths, obviously no deaths, and we're not gonna get any of our stuff stolen from the guards. Not this time. You know they're not even gonna take my bandages or my socks from me. I couldn't believe that. Like I'm so salty. Like I I I learned my lesson. They took all my stuff, right? Like all I hid was my my weapons, and they took everything, including my bullets and matches, and I was. I was a little PO'd. Um, but then I was like, all right, I learned my lesson. And then the next time I had most of my stuff, but I like kept all my clothes on. And then of course I was like naked. I'm like, wait, where's all my stuff? Where did all my stuff go? <laughs> so yeah, we've learned. We've learned. How is that possible? Yeah, that was a good, um, good moment. The, the moose can glitch through walls a little bit. That happens at uh, fishing huts as well. Wolves can do it too, uh, especially through fences. So that sort of stuff happens. All part of the mysteries of the long dark. We just really wanted to be on that mantle, that's right. It's still everything that wasn't on you. Yeah, that's the thing, like, Will has Will's pants, jacket, boots, and a pair of sports socks. Everything else goes. So if you're just wondering about it, folks, literally, if it says Will McKenzie's shirt or whatever, yeah, you can bring that in. Everything else has got to go. They take your bandages, they take your bullets, they take, they take everything from you. <laughs> everything. You can't even hide a Tinder. Where are we going? We got options, don't we? I guess we should track down this truck. He 
Yeah, we didn't find the bedroll. I think people were trolling me because they were like, Kimmy Oda found a bedroll at the first building. And I was like, no. There's a bedroll at the first building? I went back and checked. There's no bedroll there for me. And then I found two later on. But they were, um... I just need to close my eyes. One was at the cabin by the moose, actually. We'll, 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 we'll get some of this mm, mission started here, you know? I think by this time, last time, I had been so exhausted because I'd been running around that place for so long. And I couldn't find a bed, and then I didn't sleep in the bed when I did find them. So I like had a nap in this truck. Ah, uh, those are the days. Made Nutella pancakes! Ooh, those are good. Yeah, Maria, I've been on a binge um, of uh, blueberry pancakes because I have these really good blueberries in my freezer. So, I just really like them. But they're pretty decadent. And pancakes, like, honestly, it's kind of like a cake. You know, it even has cake in the name. Uh, so yeah, once a week for me. Maybe, yeah, once a week. Sometimes they have pancakes for dinner, though, too. <laughs> when I'm like, uh, what should I make? Well, there's always pancakes. Alright, I domed them. Well, maybe not. Really? So maybe it is an RNG thing. Bacon Nutella pancakes? Why not? Bacon does go good with everything. But, uh, Nana, that's interesting. Maybe, um... Maybe I should look around there a bit more. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about pancakes, is it's easy to make too many. And then you just put them, uh... You just put them in the fridge to reheat the next day. Easy. You always went back to the prison naked? Yeah. That's what I'll be doing, except I know I'll wear, like, Will's clothes. I like this deer in the middle of the road. Maybe I should just quickly check out this Black Rock Rumors, you know? Wait, is that even where that goes? It is where this goes. Wands, what are you doing? I honestly don't remember this one. Um, the, um, Miss Hellcat found three ventrals. Yeah, I found two. One was like later in the story, and the other one was at the cabin that I just hadn't explored till later on. But that was my own fault. That deer will protect me. Pancakes is a good dinner. Really, purely dinner here. Well, that makes me feel okay. Oh, it's this place. Uh, okay, I do see timbers. But we're gonna outsmart them. We're gonna outsmart them, folks. Oh, it's served with bacon, salty pea soup? Oh, interesting. Why not? Okay, we can check out that truck later on. Yeah, I'm going the right way. 
I won't get help from crows, at least. Am I going the right way? Oh, okay. We're committed now. Need to go to the power plant? No. I don't need to do Getting nothing. Weaker. I don't need to do nothing. Is this a one-way street? Could be right. Let's go check it out. Fingers feel numb. They wouldn't. Uh, they wouldn't trap me down here. Yeah, no, it's, I can get back out. I think I found a bunch of cattails in here last time. Cattail City. It's not one way. Yeah, thank you. I noticed. I remember there was um, there's a couple. Like uh, if you go at the back of the mine, but I really hope Hinterland lets us actually have that as a, you know, a mechanic where we can go to the mine, um, use it as a travel through point to get to the other side, and back around to the prison. I think that'd be awesome. gonna find this thing I'm sure of it God damn freezing I know we're cold we're cold you never found the employee yet? I think he's up ahead I hope I found every everyone in the last year. run so I should be able to do it I see him up ahead, I think. I hope. Now I'm worried. <laughs> Maybe we won't find him easily. Yeah, this looks like our man. You didn't have fun in the steam tunnels. Oh, you, uh, yeah, you didn't. You got all the doors today. You melted. But that one didn't open. <clears throat> if you have one that doesn't open, then try restarting the game. Oh, we didn't read that key. No. We'll read it later. We're cold. Uh, let's see. Oh, what have we here? Our first weapon. some coffees. Some tea. So far from the Mac marker, I know. It's a bit of a ways. Some of them are tricky, honestly. Some of the caches were real doozy.
Shove some torches before we forget. Uh, maybe the river on this map is the Hushed River. So this side is the side where it's all... I think it's running water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Scared me. <laughs> so I think on, on the other side, it's, uh, it's frozen. I'm like east side of the map, that river, but on the west side it's, it's free flowing. Sure carry much more. This dude's gonna jump me again. Alright, well give me a minute, alright? I'm just sorting myself out. I only want good torches. But yeah, I'm curious, like maybe, like if we, um... Too much stuff to carry. If we get the connection, it will all make sense, and we'll see like how it fits on the map, and the rivers will make sense and stuff. Okay, six torches. That should be good. Let's move on out. We'll go back up to that log bridge, Too and heavy. then I'll try to just sleep at that truck probably for the night. It's that, or we just push on to cooks. I don't know. We'll think about it. I remember last time it took me a while to find this, and I ended up having to, like, hunger down for a blizzard, I'm pretty sure, at that truck. The weather is much more forgiving this run. Okay. Cheers, folks. Again, thanks for hanging. Appreciate you. Let's just pay attention, it's a little foggy. Um, maybe it's this side. I'll soon forget. Yeah, this side for sure. Let's log bridge our way out, and then uh, we'll head over to Cook's, that area. But I think I'll just sleep a bit first, probably. Well, we could coffee on over. Why not? Uh, I'll loot the truck and that, that little, um, what's it called? The Jailer's Residence, I think? We'll loot the Jailer's. Try not to get eaten by Timberwolves. We have two, we have two uh, blue flares, so should be fun. Yeah, the hitboxes on the hips seem better, especially on the climbs. So thanks, Hinterland. That's a big one. That's one we've all been uh, really keen on, I think. Who am I kidding? Blue flares. I got noisemakers. We can make some noise. We can shake this world. I really hope they let us play with these on survival. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Too heavy. Ooh, cleaning kit, nice. Oh yeah, here we go. I think last time I was here, I had to like break everything down.
Mackenzie's sweater, Mackenzie's shirt. Aww. All right. We'll keep them for now. Could end up being useful. The fast river. Yeah. Ooh, we got a key. Oh, and a toque. What's in rough shape? Okay, we got some lockers to look through. So let's just uh, make sure I know what I'm getting into. Unfortunately, I just gotta take a quick break. Um, I'm gonna stretch my legs. I know we haven't been going long, but my foot's numb. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Uh, let's share. Uh, I want to share this clip here. It's a good clip. I like it. It makes me look good. And those are the best kind of clips, in my opinion. Oh, that was a good one. Now that was fun. Damn, I'm freezing. Oh, Will, what have you done, bud? Come on, show me what you got. So good. Oh my god, that's so well done. Thank you. Thank you for that one, Hinterland. Dang. Oh my god. Whoa! Okay, thanks for being patient. Let's uh, steer clear of these wolves if we can. I know I can't see them right now, but I know they're kind of in this area. Nice one. Pleasant Valley doesn't seem so pleasant. That river doesn't seem so hushed. Yeah, who knows? Like I said, it's a... Uh, it's anyone's game, and there might be connection regions that sort of tie in some loose ends. Oh, you know what? I should have got a snack. What was I thinking? Place to rest. My tummy just started grumbling. It wasn't grumbling one minute ago. All right, we'll push. We'll push for a minute. I'll drink coffee. Coffee's a snack, right? I think I'll allow it. Coffee's a snack in my books. What scared that rabbit? Last time I was so hard up for fuel. Ooh. Uh, okay, let's go that way. We spooked each other. No, just keep going. Well, just keep going. Hey, checkered. 
Why was there nothing in the patch notes about removing the crows and adding ducks? No, we got crows, uh, and we got we got faster crouch checkered, and also the hitbox on the rose hips are bigger. So there's no more accidentally clicking uh, to go rose hip pick and then climb. At least I think. Dang, I'm gonna be so spoiled when I go back to a normal sandbox. I'm not even thinking about where I am. I'm just like looking at the map, watching where that nav point is pointing. Easy mode. I gotta, I gotta get back into it. But probably what I'll do is, as soon as this region releases in survival, I will spawn here and survive for 50 days and map it out. That's the goal. But if they don't allow us to spawn here as an interloper spawn, I'll do it on... I'll do it on uh, custom. The let us do it on custom. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. But in my opinion, that's the best way to get to know a region. Because when you live here, you're forced to like... <clears throat> you know, you're forced to exhaust all it has. All the resources. Which way now? Let's go this way. <laughs> this way, I mean. I think there's science. Yeah, see the mine and the tent tree. Got it. So we'll get used to where the roads go. I love the new crow sound. They're not so loud. I think it's a bit more... It's like easier to hear without it being harsh, if that makes sense. Like it, it hits the ear a bit harder. But it's not like it's louder or grating. But yeah, it's just... Uh, maybe because what happens is we got used to the crows. They could become, it's like background noise, and I sort of tune it out. I don't even hear them unless I'm like intentionally keeping my ear out for crows. But now when I hear the crows, I instantly hear the crows. I like the move all inventory. I wonder if that's just a story mode thing because of the, you know, don't, don't take this stuff with you to prison mechanic. <laughs> Wait, Blackrock Blues is that way? Oh no. Oh right, I remember now. There's a- there's a- we gotta go get medicine. Hey Luger, good to see ya. Forgot, we had a mission. We were on a mission! Main objective. All right, this looks familiar. Oh, I was gonna say, I think one thing in this episode that could have been improved on is the aggressive wolf. If there had been another little bit to that story where you have to take out the aggressive wolf, you know, if there's this one like lone this will come in handy. timber wolf that's like super, super angry or something. I don't know. I haven't quite worked it out in my head. But when you just go there and it's like, ah, it's a corpse with a note. You're like, oh, that's it. That was me at least. Hey, the fog cleared just a bit. Make it easier for get me to get over here. Hands. Looks think, like someone's been here recently. I think there might be a, um, a sleeping spot inside this cave. I don't remember. We'll find out together. But I was also wondering if there's like... Uh, the wolves aren't, a, aren't a, uh, gonna attack you, like the timber wolves. They're not gonna attack you until you progress this story. Because the last timber wolves we encountered, they just ran off on me. I think these are plain wolves, plain old wolves. That's a plain old wolf bark to me. Oh. 
We're low on torches. Let's hope there's a bed in this cave. Don't mind me, folks. I'm just uh, passing through, all right? Bye. Seriously, those wolves... Oh, now they care. Okay, now they care. This is a neat little part of the map, too. Like, it's just sort of this, um... I don't know. Like a canyon, valley, whatever. But it's neat. I like it. I want to explore it more, but I'm also being harassed by wolves. <clears throat> and we gotta save the warden. Oh, that poor warden. I was thinking about this, like, poor dude is just basically there to serve the, uh... Oh, what? Oh, there's a rope here. Oh, we're taking that rope after we sleep here. Heck yeah, I want to climb up and out and see where that takes me. You fixed your stream? Um, chill. I think it was my internet provider, honestly. There was a few drops where the bitrate just went insane. And PT was saying that that sometimes happens to him and it's, it's usually not anything I can do. It's like the internet provider is actually, um, some issues going on. So yeah, it seems to work. So knock on wood. Knock on wood, we'll uh we'll be okay. Whoa! Oh I didn't even see this dude. Is this the extra aggressive wolf? Turn. I'm like super tired. <laughs> I need to sleep. Oh, we got a nuts and stuff. Nice. Okay, let's head in here. See if it's warm. Set a fire. Uh, no PC? Yeah, like I have, uh, you know, the Ethernet cable, like hardwired in. Alright, there's a bed. Let's just set this fire here. Not even think twice. I'll load it up and sleep. It worked. Heck yeah, it worked. What'd you think was gonna happen? Seven seater. Will is horde and. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get some snacks. Dog food. Another noisemaker. Is it autumn? Um, it's it's autumn, but not quite storms. The winds were howling a couple days back, but I think honestly, I don't really know what's going on with the weather. I used to check the weather and like be outside all the time. Now I don't go outside. I don't even think about it. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's a chance that there's a bit of wind going on for sure. Yeah, in my memory, I've not had that many issues since I've sort of optimized my stream setup. All right, 10 hours later. You know what, let's go for eight. It's it's like morning right now. You are on console and use Twitch app. Ooh, you're building a PC? Oh, chill. Well let us know. Like what's the what's the setup? Like are you using PC part picker? Uh, logical incre incre increments is another great site. Logical increments I liked because it was like Alright, what's your budget? And here's like kind of a good like well rounded build for that budget. Um, and then it gives you a few options too. So that, that I thought was really well done. Mm, maybe we need another hour. It's looking a little stormy out there. Oh, that actually made it better, I think. Plenty of coffee. Alright, let's get some torches. You should build a new rig. It's six years old. You have a 3080 in a six year old PC. Well, honestly, it's it's kind of good you got that. I was going to say, anyone building a PC right now, it's kind of a hard time to get a good, um, a good GPU. I don't know about CPUs, but yeah, the GPUs were, were sort of in high, high demand over the last year. So I was like, 
you know, at the start I was kind of salty because I bought the 2070 Super and then they announced, oh, we're building, you know, this new series. And I was like, aw, nuts. But then I wouldn't have been able to get one anyways. So I've had this PC for a year now or whatever it is, and I'm happy to have it. Is in the process, I probably wouldn't have... I probably wouldn't have been able to get anything better, even if I wanted it. Because they're, they're just starting to come into stock now. Jen, good to see you. Sub for 15 months, Jen. I've been meeting, I've been meeting, I was even gonna message you, Jen. Is there actually some old dude wandering around this map? Is Methuselah out there somewhere? And I didn't find him. <laughs> or were you joking? Either way, that was funny and um, hope you're doing well. Thank you for the 15 months. That's amazing. All right, we're drinking coffee. Cheers. Will gets one, I get one too. But throw some love uh, out there for uh, that huge resub, folks. All right, let's boogie. Where to now? So see, last time I went up here, and that was that was a long ways to go. Let's head back to prison, and then we'll sort of, um, you know. Oh. Right, we wanted to go here, didn't we? Oh, we're four kilos over. Whatever will we drop to make the weight? Dispatch called. No worries. Chill. Welcome in. Let's go. I know I was asking if he was the old guy by the campfire from episode 1 and 2. No, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Will's like, oh, Methuselah. What are you doing here, dude? How did you get here? Like, come on. Let me know your secrets. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're at Cuddy's... Yeah, Cuddy's cave. What's up here? I kind of just want to cruise around. Got an Elgato HD60. Ooh. Yeah, so... I have a... Aver Media capture card, but Elgato was the other one that I was looking at. They're, um, they're quite well known often often mentioned when people are like researching if you're researching capture cards it's like either you hear about Elgato or you hear about Avery Media. Wiggle 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 wiggle. Come on Will. They don't want me to go up here but I want to go up here. All right I think I saw Cooks in the distance. See timber over there, so let's go this way. Yeah, let's go this way, and maybe um, we'll find a weapon at Cooks and a moose. <laughs> Not that we need to take the moose out, but it's kind of fun. A thousand watt PSU. Yeah, that's another thing. Is um, oh, this is we're all we're all the way here. Holy smokes! That's another thing that's important to know is. Um, you know, will the motherboard support the, you know, the, the processor, um, <laughs> and the graphics card and all that, like, or is it gonna just blow the whole thing up? So yeah, putting, putting your stuff through PC part picker, and even too, it's like, will it all fit in the PC case I got? That's another thing, I didn't even think of that. But it's important. I might have to drop some gear. Well, we just did that. We're gonna get well fed soon, hopefully. It was in the- I was in the first group of guards they brought out here. And it was my first job. I was just a kid still, really. Green like the trees on that freezing island. But that was the point, I think. They shaped the guards as much as the men they locked up there. Some of us felt sort of locked up too, right alongside the inmates. After a few years, I did my bit, shook their hands and left. That was the last I saw, Blackrock. Smart. Young kids, smart. 
Got a good head on his shoulders. That'll come in handy. Well, we could we could reset here and do cloth. Uh, cloth harvest. And noise maker construction. And then work our way back. I feel like that's not a bad option since there's like cans galore here. Cans on cans. I could use this. Oh yeah, we're gonna use them. We're gonna use them well. First, let's eat the dog food. <laughs> oh, we'll eat them. We'll eat the tomato soup too. There's no cooking skill, so it's like you don't get your skill up for harvesting. Hey, pale, good to see you. You're trying to watch the stream, but it keeps freezing. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, today's been a weird day. We've been having some issues. It's currently, uh, we're currently going through some more issues, I think. Like I said, my internet provider might be, um, might be having an off day. But, uh, hope all is well, Pale, and thanks for hanging. Yeah, I got the A50 gold as well. Seventh computer, nice. You got this. So I got eight cans now. Here we go. A little aggressive. I think what I'll do is I'll leave... Let's go ahead and leave... A couple here. Oh, let's not forget. Yoink! Almost forgot. And then how many cloth should we do? And some denim. Cool, cool, cool. I think we should head back. I like that. I like that idea. Let's really clean this up first. Oh, don't reload it. No, unload it. Unload it and clean it. Hey, thanks for the hydrate. Cheers. Best way to kill the moose close to the cabin. Like my clips from yesterday. Um. Finn posted a clip. I don't know what it was called, but but you'll see it. It's me in the cabin fighting the moose, so you'll see the best way to do it. Arrow to the face, yeah. Check my clips from yesterday. I don't want any jams, you know? Just killed the moose by the lake. Nice, Rom. We were just talking about that spot. One more. Okay, this is as clean as we like it. Can I drop any more supplies here? Like exactly 30 kilos. If I pick up a stick, I'm overweight. Oh, I know what to do. We'll drink something. We'll drink a couple sodas and be just fine. All right, I've got a note in here, so good on me. Anything else we're missing? Let's go. I never kill the moose unless I need a backpack. Yeah, I guess some. Um, if you have, you know, if you have cooking five. Hold on, I just want to get acquainted. We, yeah, we're going this way. If you have cooking five, or you're not playing on stalker interloper, 
definitely bear meat, wolf meat for days. Moose is tricky, and moose is also like kind of RNG based. You have to have the timing right. Oh, there they are. Look at this. Look at this pack. All right, let's see if they even are interested in me to start. So you have to have like the patience to wait for the moose to spawn, or you have to be ready for it when it does spawn. Oh, the moose is up. We got a moose on the loose. Alright, maybe. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Why would you do that, Will? If you all made it this far, you've still got a ways to go, but there's help. Look for these supplies on the way. This is all you're gonna get from me. I wish you luck, but there's none left to go around. Drop any of this gear. Come and get me. Don't actually, though. Oh, he's like finding his way. He's finding his way. Wait, is that not a hit? Okay, we got some ammo for this thing. Hey, cool kid, good to see you. Welcome in. Wait, what's the condition of this thing? 66. Where'd that moose get to? Alright. <laughs> that was our second one-shot moose. Rifle's OP. Folks, rifle OP AF. All right, I am gonna get. Oh, what's over here? Oh, I want to go check that out. But I'm gonna get some of this meat here, and drag it back. You know what? Screw it. We're committed. The sun's setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Oh goodness, what is happening? This gear is slowing me down. I can say that again. I just want some meat here. I need some meat stockpiled here. Uh, so as we're passing on through, we just have have steaks. I don't need much. I don't need much. a bit of a walk, but not that bad. Such a wimp, what do you mean? Oh, with the wolf? Oh yeah, well it's more like I just didn't want to waste, um, waste a health bar. Alrighty. Let's get this rockin'. Fun fact, in the Really day crossbows were banned by the Pope because OP. Oh, in the early day, really? Crossbows were too strong. They weren't they weren't fair against the traditional longbows, basically. It's interesting. Fire's life out here. You better believe it, Will. Fire is our life. 
What have we here? I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna leave um, noisemaker fixins all over the place. All right, let's see. Oh, we might as well boil water. Hey, arrows, welcome in. You finished chapter four? Yeah, we did too, and now we're playing it again. Oh, I just aimed and pulled the trigger. Yeah, no bow. Well, I'm honestly, I, it's not often I get to play with the rifle or the revolver. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of it. It's just something that I really have fun with and I'm just gonna milk it, milk it all I can. All right, so we got a few kilos here. I'll probably try to grab uh, another one if I can. Here, let's actually just drop all our weight. Crosswell knowledge. Well, chat's flying. Ah, I see, yeah. So, crossbow is much stronger than bow, yeah. Plus more powerful. I think I'm good. This is like um, a bunch of steaks. We'll cook a few and then we'll leave some raw. And then it's just going to be here for us as we pass through. It's a good little waypoint. Prison burned out. Interesting. It's only... Yeah, that's an interesting, interesting thought. Actually, yeah, I'll drop the scrap. Oh, because I shot the wolf through the fence? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. All right, now we're going to eat. as well. Is there actually an aggressive wolf? I don't want to spoil it for you, uh, but if you want to know, I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to grab a snack here in a second. My tummy is a rumbling, folks. Apparently coffee isn't enough. 
Who would have thought? Okay, let's keep going with this hatchet. Oh, Cindy, that's nice of you to do that. <clears throat> you want to know, a two's no. It's just a story mission. Kind of sad, honestly. I was really hopeful that it'd be like, you know, kind of a neat, um, uh, like, like the, like the bear. I wanted a bear, but in wolf form, you know, the, the hunted bear. I wanted a monster wolf that you couldn't kill unless you like, outsmarted it. Alright, so... That's pretty close. Oh no. Oh no. See, things are starting to pop up on the map. Let's go. Oh, uh, Moose doesn't bleed out. You have to get a critical hit on it. Yeah, Moose is the trickiest animal to hunt because you can't just shoot it and hide. You have to actually get a critical uh, critical hit on it. Like um, me with that shot, it was because I aimed for the for the kill shot. But if you hit it in like the leg or the butt or whatever, it's not going to do the job. This is the right way, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey now, hey now, hey now. Excuse me. That's what I thought. Hey, you better run. Yeah, the moose is tough. Honestly, the moose is the harder animal for me to, to get um, when I started. Bears are fine. Wolves, a bit trickier, but not so bad. Uh, but the moose were tricky. Yeah, moose were hard. Okay, I gotta pause it. I'm gonna get a snack. So enjoy uh, this clip we've already shared, but my clip shares aren't working that good. Here be. <laughs> Got him! Oh, that was a good one. Now that was fun. Damn, I'm freezing. Oh, Will. What have you done, bud? Come on. Show me what you got. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my god. That's so well done. Thank you. Thank you for that one, Hinterland. Dang. Oh my god. Whoa! <sighs> okay, here we go, folks. We need to focus. Okay. I think I, I have to start here. I have to start the run and just go for it. Yeet. We did it. <laughs> I can't believe we did it. I can't believe it. 
first try. Okay, here we go. Hype, hype, hype. Get your hype, hype. All right, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. And I got two snacks. I got the traditional oats or uh, oatmeal. I don't know granola. I don't. Is granola even oatmeal? I think granola is a form of oatmeal. Then I got some of these. Um, they're like crunchy tofu bites. Sesame. So I'm gonna get into this. Bye. Nice one, Silty. I figured. I figured it was something like that. It's like granola, plus a bunch of other stuff. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna try to get to this crate. Don't mind me, I'm still eating. Thank you for patience.
Well, apparently we screwed that up. Well, we can blame Will. I definitely don't remember how to get to this thing. This is not the way. Hold on. <clears throat> Wait the... what the what? Did that work? <laughs> Tell me that worked. Don't reward my bad behavior. Congrats. Hey, Ruak. We did it. We goaded. I think this is the right spot. <laughs> I don't even know, honestly. Yeah, it is. Check it out. Boom. There it is. Will, you are one clever. I might need to defend myself. Son of a gun. One clever son of a biscuit. Yeah, doing good, Ruak. We're doing so good, we had to play story again. Honestly, kind of curious to see where these wolves came up, so I can just take the same path, you know? Oh, so this is how I was supposed to get here. Hmm, I understand. Oh, I don't want to be on this side of the map, though. No, 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 we can't. We can't, we gotta go back the way we came. You shall go to back. <clears throat> I'm so totally gonna get eaten by a wolf here. I just can't resist. <laughs> I think that worked. All of our hearing is done for. Alright, now is this even the right way? Yeah, this looks good to me. Alright, I'm almost done eating. Thanks for waiting, folks.
All right, thanks for waiting. I had a good snack. <clears throat> that should do me for a while. I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm really happy I found that little route because I remember last time we got lost trying to get around there. <clears throat> and then when we finally did, it put us on the wrong side and I had to like, I think I had to climb up a rope or something to get back and I left my moose side. It's all connected? Oh my, I'm sorry folks. Yeah, we got some issues today. Got some issues going on with the stream. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be better, so... Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'll probably do a shorter stream today, folks. Just because it's really frustrating to have, um, the quality issues. But I appreciate you being patient, and... Patience? My middle name. <laughs> I appreciate your patience. And we will, um, we will be back to normal here soon, I'm sure. And yes, I do like the big guns. They are awesome. Extremely effective. Oh, right. We got to look through the lockers again, I think. So we'll do that too. And then I'll drop everything off. I'll drop everything off here before I go back. We've got a plan. Oof, we made it. We made it. Oh, it's warm in here. Nice. Definitely no bedroll in this room. Okay. <clears throat> Hide your items out of sight. Hide your items. Hide all your items, folks. Hide it all. All right, we're just gonna go to the infirmary and check the locker, and then we'll go hide everything. Absolutely everything other than Will Mackenzie's clothing. Literally. <laughs> we're not screwing this up again. It's dark in here. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. It's like the lighting just changed. What's up with that? Door closes behind me. <clears throat> Alright, good. We can see in here at least. Wait, where are the lockers? I forget now. <laughs> okay, this is not the right spot. Okay, I gotta go to the big uh, doors, but I gotta go through all the wolves then, if that's the case. It's over there. I don't think I have a shortcut yet. Here we go. You got this. Egg day? What's egg day, Fenris? So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. <laughs> no, we're not laying down. World's Egg Day. I've never heard of it before. Um, we have uh, Thanksgiving, Canon Canadian Thanksgiving this Come weekend. <clears throat> All right. It worked. 
It worked. Wow, we're low on fuel. Okay, let's warm up. Grab some torches. Get ready to tackle this wolf. Always close the door behind you. We don't want another cutscene wolf. That was horrifying. See you, welcome in. Yeah, I know Fenris, we got some issues here today. Um, it's pretty frustrating. I don't know what to do about it. I think I've got some ISP issues. My bitrate is um, fluctuating. Normally it doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. Oh, excuse me. So many wolves in just a small area. We'll get through. Turkey eggs. A food item? Never heard of turkey eggs before. <clears throat> you get chicken eggs, you get... Duck eggs are more common now. Um, that's about, that's about all. That's standard. But even duck eggs aren't like standard. You gotta go somewhere like more specialty for that. All right, we're here. Cold is making my head feel thick. Okay, so now we can go through and get the papers. We could sleep here too if we wanted. This one. Here we go. What do we get? That'll come Ooh. in handy. Don't need that, because I got the uh, hatchet. I help build black rock, help bring steel and bricks from the mainland. We also source rock and stone from some quarries at the foot of the big mountain. I guess that's why we're all here. Black Rock Mountain. They were mining folk all around that valley, so it was easy to find help to put bones up that prison. Some died, some would wander off. But we all got paid and the thing got done. Can't say much for the mean look of the place, but we built her strong. Nice enough place in the summer months, Great Bear, but those winters were evil things. I tell ya, wind came whipping down the mountain, screaming after ya. Sounds familiar. Alright, let's get out of here now. I'm not gonna worry about sleeping. Now why doesn't- why- does that door open from this side or is it locked? Oh, it is open, okay. Wait, what? And where's the shortcut? Is there no shortcut? Tell me I gotta go all the way back around? Oh man. Seriously? Is there no other way? Let's just do the billy goat. Kinder surprise eggs? We have them, but they're not like... It's not like a thing you like get excited about, really. Or have at a certain time of year. Oh, 
I don't even know if I can get down from here. I think this will get me to the infirmary, though, which is better than nothing. Oh no, I can't. My energy is just All right. disappearing. Either way, let's let's get up and over here, maybe. This is brutal. Let me out. <clears throat> There we go. Boop. Boop. Okay, now we can get the story going. Go on the roof and jump. Yeah, we got it. We got it. All right, let's drop off everything. Everything that we don't have uh, on us at the start of the game. So I'm talking everything, uh, including that torch. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Oh, don't worry, we're going to the infinite fire in a minute. There's remote islands. Away from them. Seagull eggs and beer. Seagull eggs, really? Interesting. Alright, let's go into here and try this new mechanic out. I missed it last run. Move all. Okay. Oh, look. It it kept this stuff. I'm not convinced it's gonna let me. Wait, I'm sure we we're, were wearing jeans. No, we had these pants, that's right. But which pair of underwear was it? Alright. There we go, that's us. No contraband so on me. Just the simple basic basics. We're so fast. Oh no, we can't even run. I got the medicine. All right, cue the cutscene. BRB. Wow. Shit. You made it. I made it. I guess you're tougher than you look. I found stuff to help the warden. Medical supplies. Yeah. You'd better get in there to see him. He doesn't look too good. But first, you gotta let me frisk you. Mattis had have my balls if I let you sneak a knife in here. Who the, who the hell are you? Relax. I'm your neighbor in cell 15. <laughs> yeah, Mathis is pilot. I cleaned you up the best I could. You might have a broken rib. Maybe more. Mathis opened up a couple of bad cuts on you, so I stitched them up. Gave you a shot of antibiotics. Hopefully that'll prevent serious infection. Thanks. You, you seem to know a fair bit of first aid. Well, I'm married. I, uh, I know a doctor. And, uh, I get hurt a lot. With, with friends like Math, so I'm not surprised. Oh, Mathis is no friend of mine. We'd, we'd better hurry before the guards come back. There's something I need to tell you about the prison. Um, this episode is a lot different. Solitary. Lots, lots more grit, it's and a, it's a bit it's darker on its own for sure. Walking circuits, separate from the rest of the prison. Mathis and his guys, they haven't figured that out yet. But when they do, when they do, they'll get Donner out, and there will be hell to pay. They blame you for Donner. Mathis thinks I use some kind of override to keep Donner locked in there. Even when the rest of the cells went haywire. Well, did you? N no, no, it's... I can't figure it out. But someone is out there messing with the system. Messing with Mathis. And keeping Donner inside. I might have an idea of who it is. 
You see someone out there? Not saw, but I talked to someone on the phone. Right. The old rotary phone system would still work. Redundancy for when the sad phone goes down. Right. Shit, they're coming back. Get back in your cell. You gonna be okay? Just don't let them find you in here. If you get to talk to whoever it was on the phone again, do whatever they ask. Because right now, they are the only thing keeping us all alive. Think we can trust them? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. How'd that happen? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Must be glitchy. <laughs> These idiots think I'm a fool. They don't think I can figure out what happened here. But they were too chicken shit to take care of the warden themselves. And sent you out into the cold to do their dirty work. And you. Risking your life to save a guy you don't even know. What a fucking Boy Scout. That's me. You still don't get it. Don't you see that in this new world, Mackenzie, Boy Scouts will be the first to die? And yet, here I am. Well, smartass, if you're gonna make yourself useful, you're gonna make yourself useful to me. Am I? Yes. You are. And why am I going to do that? Well, because... Hard case. Right. Get back out there, pilot. Go find out what's wrong with this place. What do you have in mind? Well, obviously there's something wrong with the power. Though he's been no help, a map in the warden's office shows this place has its own power plant, so... Go check it out. Give me some power, so I can open the gates to solitary. Right. Power. Solitary. Got it. And Mackenzie. Yes? Don't dawdle. Or... The warden gets it for real this time. Oh, maybe we shouldn't dawdle. Math is said to give you this. That doesn't look like a coat. That's cause it isn't. It's a bit of a map. Shows the way to the dam. Looks like you can just follow the power lines or something. Yeah. It's cold out here. Wee. I won't find the dam if I freeze before I get there. Cheers, Do I look like a guy who gives a shit? You don't want to freeze out here? Then get moving. Alrighty. <clears throat> what do we got here? Bastards. At least this map looks real enough. Oh, we got a map now. Yeah. Kind of. Wait, an employee's late and now missing. Two sons of the late employee. Hmm. Okay. We're fully rested. <clears throat> so we grab our stuffs. Too much stuff to carry. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We'll get rid of uh we'll get rid of some stuff here.
But what? What could we get rid of? Oh, our steak. Hey, Kimiota! Good to see you and welcome in, Raiders. Thank you for the raid. I see you were getting back into some more episode 4. I did the same thing. I'm jumping right back into it. Actually, you know what? We'll take these jeans and we'll tear them up. Hey! Oyi Kison Kosoni. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Grim Gang. Welcome in, Raiders. I'm just going through my inventory here. As you know, it's something we gotta do. Alright, we're pretty good. Nice and light. Wow, matches. So we just got started, and um, <clears throat> we've got the medicine back for the warden. We've got a couple side missions done, but that's what we're going to focus on now is um, a few side missions. But come on, little fire. Welcome in, raiders. Thank you for coming by again. Uh, Punk is welcome in. Yeah, I've been having some fun here. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll try to get this. This, uh, this here. I can't remember what this is all about, so let's go, let's go investigate that. After... I tear up these. And then we'll maybe do one repair. And then we'll go. Cheers, everyone, and thank you for coming by, Kimura. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, at, I'm experiencing some technical difficulties here. So if you notice some lagging, I apologize. That's not not how it normally is. Normally, uh, stream quality is pretty solid here, but yeah, today my I think my ISP is having issues. All right, look at that. Will is pretty good with the thread and needle. Well, we're on a roll. Let's go for it. You're in chapter two, poot. So you're starting. Did you do four and then you're going back again or what? What's the deal? All right, looking good. Oh yeah, let's go investigate this. Uh, I think we missed something here. We've got a we've got a ace to look for. Somewhere this way. Probably won't be able to find it in this, uh, this weather. Let's sleep. Maybe we'll get some better light. Sit rev. <laughs> there is an actual sit rev you can redeem. But the, um, the mission's pretty early on. So we started over stiff and we're playing through slowly and just taking our time, having fun. Chatting about, chatting about the story. How we think it will connect to survival sandbox. Stuff like that. Pretty excited. I broke the game. You went over Broken Bridge. Uh-oh. What have you done? Alright, let's get through this blizzard now. Might have to have a fire here. We haven't found our bedroll yet. So I might... I might put that as a priority. <clears throat> no bedroll is hard. I dealt with no bedroll for most of the last run. Oh, it's cold now. Okay, I think I have a bit of coal on me. All right, I can't, uh, I can't for the life of me remember where this case is or this uh, container that I have to search or whatever it is. Turned out pretty well. Oh. 
see if I can do this fast enough. Already screwing it up. It's usually like six or seven minutes until boiled. By the way, I know I lurk and don't chat, but your streams are some of the most chill on Switch. Oh, that's diff. That's so sweet. Well, you know me. I appreciate all the lurks. Ooh, we got it. I appreciate the lurkers, so thank you if you're lurking. Cheers to you. Appreciate you. All right, let's go for another hour. I know we're wasting all our valuable, valuable coal. Hey, Mariam Kura, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Grim Gang. Welcome on in. We're just hanging out here. Episode four, I can't get enough of it. I had so much fun playing in the last couple days. Here's to all the newcomers. If you're new to the channel, I'm once. I play a lot of Lone Dark. I'm gonna try to get a couple more variety streams in. Maybe even this weekend. Don't quote me on that. <clears throat> I also said I'd take a day off, but here we are. I just can't quit this game. All right, from here, it shows the case being over in that building there. Was very yellow. Little confession I've been lurking for a couple days. Oh, well, that's awesome. Like I said, lurks are amazing and they really do help to stream out. So, thank you for lurking. Thank you for lurking here. And welcome on in. Welcome to the Grim Gang officially. So, what did we miss? What did we miss? Oh, we're not even in the right spot now. Okay, let's go through. Okay, yeah, we gotta go around. We do have to go around again. <clears throat> I think later on we open the option to f to be able to bypass all this, if I recall. But we haven't yet. Let's go the long way. to fight okay <laughs> we, got, we got one we got one worked no worries will's tough tough as old leather yeah that's a strat that doesn't always work so don't rely on it <clears throat> but if you're under encumbered and you don't have any sprains. You have a torch, you can usually run at the wolf and it stops it. You've been lurking forever. Uh oh. Is chapter five decided? Yes, chapter five is going to be the last episode. That's how they've always planned it. Oh, just in the nick of time. They've always planned it that way. So chapter five will be the conclusion to Wintermute. So yeah, stay tuned. sneeze oh excuse me <clears throat> my goodness okay so I'm on top of this case now where is it I think I'd remember since we literally just did this mission yesterday or the day before <laughs> All right, let's go inside. I forgot about upstairs. Oh. It wouldn't be up here, would it? Oh, 
Oh, right. I, I found it earlier, Finn. I did find it earlier. But you know what? I got this goldfish. I got this goldfish memory. We got the key to the lockbox that we discovered. Thank you. Yeah, um, I got a great... Ooh, we got the nugget. I'll just plug it here. I got this great... I can't even see it. I got this great microphone. It's called the Elgato Wave 3. And it's got a mute button on the top and you just have to tap it. So I really like that feature. It's nice because you don't have to... Could end up being useful. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. You don't even have to think about like, you know, clicking something with the mouse. You know, that's kind of kind of stressful. Kind of tough to do um, on the on the fly. Wait. Now how do I get through? See, this is the thing. I gotta figure this out. Oh right, we'll go. We'll go on the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We haven't officially unlocked a shortcut yet, so we gotta we gotta schlep up here, and then Billy Goat. Hardcore parkour. But we got a stylish rabbit hat, so that's pretty dang cool. Yeet. All right, let's move. How do people know Goldfish has poor memory? I don't know. I think, uh, honestly, that's just one of those, like, uh, turn of phrases. It might not have any bearing. It might not have any real bearing. I'm trying to stay light and lethal on this run. You know what I mean? Okay, let's head to this convict cache and then just like go to here because I want to go to this lake and try to find a bedroll. <laughs> I'm, I'm greedy, okay? Didn't you watch Monty Python? <laughs> I watched some Monty Python, like I've seen Life of Brian, uh, Holy Grail. A couple of the other or classic films, but I never watched like the actual... I think it was a program or something. I don't like that's what I mean. I don't know. I just saw some of the films. I'm ignorant to the quality, quality comedy. But yeah, it's all good stuff. I remember being pretty, uh. <laughs> having some good laughs. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm trying to, th I'm trying to remember, but there's really no fast way to do this. We just gotta go all the way to the bridge and then go across the bridge. At least I haven't discovered a way that um, bypasses that bridge and gets you across. I'll have to think about that. Maybe that will be a fun little... Oh, that's right. There is something near Cook's. We were talking about this um, earlier with PT. It's a ravaged carcass. Look at that. Point eight, not worth my time. I don't know. You know what? PT built a wolf coat and it looked pretty dang good on Will. But I might, uh, I don't know. That could be fun. Could be fun. <laughs> not copying PT, but I like his style. <laughs> the wolf coat looks real good. You just googled and here's the answer. Scientists have proven the goldfish memory spans are nowhere near as short as these seconds. Goldfish can actually remember things for five months. See, I knew it was one of those like, just silly turn of phrases that didn't have any bearing, uh, bearing on reality. Maybe I'll continue in the long dark to episode one. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? Well, I think uh, Long Dark 2, if there is a Long Dark 2, or whatever game Hinterland comes out with next, <clears throat> it might not be a direct sequel to this game, if you know what I mean. It might be a whole new property altogether.
See, that's why we grab the knife. Oh, hello, sir. Do you dare? She, let's try to get this with the bow. We're not gonna have time. Maybe. Nope. There will be more. Oh, yes. I just need to uh, think about how I don't have. I don't have much fuel left, so. Let's just grab this and run. Okay, this is fine. Let's carry on towards Foreman's. And then at Foreman's, we'll grab like three more wolves. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a plan. I've got a plan, folks. Pick up sticks, murder wolves. TLDs into that pandemic long before the real one. We've been practicing the survival. Well, they really went um, went for it in the uh, last cutscene, eh? I don't know. It's interesting. It's like I was playing um, this game Back for Blood. And, um... There's a sign, like a social distancing, keep six meters apart. That was kind of an interesting Easter egg. Look how fast Will is. Ooh, we're quick. Let us go. But then he starts grunting and groaning. Oof. Yeah, I don't know, Finn. Maybe, um... Maybe soon. Like, there's a lot of uh, momentum. But to, they need someone to man the store, you know, someone has to sit there and take orders and fill them in and stuff. Oh no, no, not like this. Uh oh. Oh, it was a hit. Oh no. <laughs> Three hits on that dude? a tough son of a gun. Son of a bee sting. Damn. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. I'm freezing my took us off. That whole deer. No, no, we're worrying about wolf hides. Too heavy. I don't want Will to get hurt. Sue me. Whoa, that went way over his head. That went way under his chin. All right, let's just retire. Retire the bow here. Pull out the rifle. The real winning tool. Uh-oh. It's actually full of flare. I remember this guy over here. Wait, no, this is a dead one. All the same, let's grab it. This will be our fourth. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, we're, we're weighed down with hides, aren't we, Will? We've been busy, buddy. <laughs> Come on, get your button squared away. Sell me one mug, Hinterland. No, I would buy a lot. 
you know, uh, the mugs are a lot of fun. <laughs> They're really cool. It worked. Frozen. Frozen solid. Yeah, 45 minutes. Oh, that's nice. Actually, here, let's eat this. And then I'll get the guts. This is perfect. And then we'll take them to Foreman's. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Oh no. Alright, it's boogie. I need to drop something. No, you don't, Will. Stop with that. Yeah, let's just head this way. Uh, straight through the timber wolves. If they attack, they attack. We'll just deal with them. Wait, isn't that it up there? Yeah, this way. This way, Will. Onwards and upwards. Cheerio. Excuse me. I'm hoping to, like, it's a little bit haxy, but I'm hoping to, like, learn the map a little bit, you know? I want to hang out here long enough to get a general idea so when we show up in survival, I can, you know, understand the lay of the land at least a little bit better. I think I need to lay down. Don't worry, Will. We're, we're, get just, we're gonna get you sorted. Nice day, though. I hate to not take advantage of this. I think I'm going to travel to the next location after we get set up here. Good. Good, good. Perfect. Look at this. Okay, so we got some extra cloth, clothing, noisemakers. We currently have five on us. It's pretty good. What about arrows? Where's that arrow shaft? I guess we could make a couple arrows. I think I have one. I have one arrowhead. <laughs> Chat sometimes chills out, you know? Um, but yeah, we got a heist going. Finn's getting the heist together, folks. Get in on it, you know you want to. You know what, let's spend the night here. Why not? I'll just craft a couple, uh, a couple of noisemakers. Or one, how about? You just lay down. Have a little sleep right here. Cloth situation's okay. Let's do some clothing repairs then. And then let's, uh, oh, I was gonna say mark our calendar, but <clears throat> we'll just have to keep in mind four days from now. Didn't I drop leather? Yep. I know, it's no point in preparing these. We're gonna get upgraded, but why not? Get good, good looking boots on Will. Hey, D Rock, good to see ya. Welcome in, coming out of Lurk. Get that heist going. Yeah, Ruex is still here. Just playing Loopy, welcome in. Everyone, thanks for hanging out. And if you're lurking, don't feel like you have to chat. Don't you worry. You lurk, you lurk in peace. All right. 
33%. Let's eat this and maybe we make another noisemaker. I haven't struggled for food yet. But we also got two moose in the last one. You're work lurking? Don't apologize, Cool K. I appreciate the work lurk. That's awesome. You can do that for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Full belly. Sleep. And then on the way, we're gonna go through this mountain pass to get to this lake. Okay, where's the, uh, I can't see anything. The bed should be right here. Oh, you just made it in. Nice one, Maria. The, the three musketeers. Good job, team. Ooh, well fed. What a nice surprise. That is actually a real treat. Oh, you know what? I'm like, oh, we're low on food. We got, we got moose. We got moose at Cooks if we actually wanted it. So we're good. Yeah, we're doing real good. <laughs> Fine. <clears throat> so let's push on to uh, this next location. See what we can get doing. All right. We'll just head towards. This is just this way, right? Yeah, carry on down the road and through the pass. Excuse me. I remember now. Oh, what have we here? Gotta, we gotta get this thing going. Wait. Is there only one? I want the noisemaker combo. I want the combo. That will go. That will do. That's good. I like it. I like how it gives you that hit of um, like tinnitus almost. Hey, Phoenix, good to see you. That's all, that's all she wrote for this crew. I really like these firearms, honestly. <clears throat> They're so fun. So fun to play with. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, we totally dropped the ball there. How did we miss that? Maybe we have to go this way anyways. Let's go around and see. Dead another dead wolf. Pretty soon this whole map is going to be nothing but wolf, car wolf car carcasses. Oh, this looks familiar. Yeah, 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 yeah. My headphone volume is high. I'm still hearing a beep. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you know what? I'm going to turn the game volume down. There, the game volume is a bit less loud because I noticed... Like I have my audio mixer up and if it pops into the yellow, that means it's pretty loud. So I try to keep things um, out of the yellow, especially out of the red, never in the red. If it's in the red, that's like popping and, and like not good on your ears kind of noises. I remember I looked around for this one for a long time. Let's see if I can remember where it is. Bingo. Found it. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Nice. It's 
a good haul. Alright, let's head this way. Let's see if we get another moose. So you know if we get one, we're gonna go for it. Maybe we'll use the bow this time, though. <clears throat> What's that noise? Oh. Oh, that was like the timber wolf growling. Hey, we've high five. That was the timber wolf growling. Uh, uh, while I was eating the rabbit. I just hadn't heard anything like that before. Scared me. Dude, chill. I defeated you in battle. Bow rifle combo? So how about how about rifle bow combo? Well that's the problem, is I'll one shot him. I want him to door dash. Door dash delivery for me, please and thank you. Only thing is is I've got um I've gotta come I've gotta come back here. Because I haven't unlocked whatever whatever it was that was at the spot that I had to find. Cause yeah, there was there was a cache here. A bit of a, that's a bit of a ways. Let me just see if we got the bed roll first. Yes! That'll come in handy. Yeah, this is good. Nice. Ooh. I'll take it. Mac an awesome jacket. I could use this. Dang. Back up Canada Tuke. <clears throat> I don't see any notes. Wait, what kind of condition is this bow in? 94, yeah, we'll keep it. This stuff will come in handy. Ah, here we go. Wait, why didn't I read it? Dang it! Read it once, read it. Nothing in Blackrock's design could outweigh the influence of the surrounding landscape on the mission of the penitentiary. The rugged valleys surrounding the prison grounds have always been a self, a secondary deterrent. Where the first stone was laid for the penitentiary, gold miners and prospectors made their way to the region to try their hand at finding fortune in the shadow of Black Rock Mountain. Many died and few found gold they were looking for. Still, it said many streams and rivers that surround the prison grounds still carry gold, even in winter. There's water flowing in winter. Hey, DJ, welcome in. Good to see ya. Welcome, welcome. I gotta open the door, of course. Yeah, right, right, right. Oops. It's open, open. You can't close it. Okay, he's a bit closer now. No! That was a good shot. It was the third shot, but it was a good shot. <laughs> Broadside? Right in the button. I like those ones. Okay, now where's the, uh, <clears throat> the other one? I shot a couple, didn't I? I shot three, I swear. Oh, there it is. Looks like Moose is back on the menu. <laughs> Axe! Yeah. I got the auto-aim uh, mod installed. Shh, don't tell anyone. I use it to make me look better than I actually am. Uh, I was hoping it'd be sticking out where I hit. Too cold to think. 
How do you want to play this, Wilstred? Let's try it. I think I've got plenty of sticks. You can probably shoot a moose in the Milton, <laughs> like Milton Basin. Well, I like to. I like the um, Ice Age sniper challenge we did, where it was the long shots on the bear. Maybe we should try that the moose. But the moose hunts are so tough. Well, thank goodness for that. Cause they're like, they're a maybe. They're a maybe. I don't know, I'm just gonna start start this process here. A long walk back so to the cabin. Slow me down. That was fun. I like a moose hunt. And this is this is like twice now where we've gone from cooks to bricklayers and there's been a moose at each spot. So hopefully that's what it's like in survival. It's like a worthwhile region to um, venture to because you have two consistent moose spawns. Interland, are you listening? <laughs> I got ideas. I got ideas. But no, seriously, if they give us noisemakers, what I think they should do is make it so you have to go to the prison and find one of those things in the locker and be like, oh, this is interesting. Wonder if I can make one of these, you know? Boom, all of a sudden you're crafting noisemakers. But you kind of got to go to this region to get that menu or that craftable uh, recipe. And then you got to go to, um, you know, Bleak Inlet to get a bunch of gunpowder organized. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Gonna get a new hatchet here after we turn this one into dust. This is a big moose. 4.9 bags. Not a bad idea. I just think like a lot of folks aren't as keen on Bleak Inlet because it's kind of a challenging spot. And this region might be the same. It might be a challenging spot. But you know everyone, and I mean everyone, is gonna play is gonna wanna play around with the Noisemaker mechanics. Let's, uh, drink and go... Oh, you know what? We could probably get a fire started. And then cook a bit of this stuff up. Oh, here. Let's do, let's do the smart thing and drop everything. Or... Or... Can we? Let's do this. Oh, we can't move all to container because it's probably... It doesn't have enough space. But the sentiment can still be there. Basically, weigh nothing now. Let's go for it. And I left myself with a torch. Smart. Any weapons? Nope. Of course not. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Nope. Definitely not. I will never get tired of the sound design. I know the sound of the meat repeatedly dropping. It's starting to weigh me down. The wind hitting the rafters when you're hiding out in the cabin. It's really well, really, really well done. And I highly recommend getting a good, good headset. Because the audio is great and it really helps with the directional. It's almost like you're cheating because you have 
such a better idea of what way things are coming from. All right, we gotta get a fire. Lots to get the fire going. Pretty sad with one's his voice. Aw, you're so sweet, DJ. Should probably just end up using accelerant. Gonna waste a match either way. Well, cheers everyone, thanks for sticking around. Appreciate you all. Come on. Well, that worked. Oh, I was like, where's all my fuel? I think we dropped it. Oh, move all. Oh, there we go. Some of this gear behind. Oh, sorry, William. We can't even move. It's like we can't even walk. What are you doing to me? Gonna be able to carry this load for much Again, longer. Again, we don't we don't need much of this. It's more about you know, just getting a little stockpile here for next time. Drink up. I can barely walk with this much gear. Stuff to carry. No, Will, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. We'll even sleep here tonight, I promise. We'll sleep here in this cozy, cozy cabin. I have a feeling that on Interloper, this cabin's gonna be pretty cold, and it's like you're gonna need a fire potentially to live here. We'll see. You never know. Wait, what's left on the fire? 20 minutes, that's all? Let's go run around for some wood. Sure, we can get some sticks. Or not. No sticks anywhere. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, let's not get greedy. And then, yeah, Sky Captain has taken some amazing photos on our Discord. <clears throat> Folks, if you love photography or, you know, photos of, of cute animals, uh, the Discord's worth checking out. There's some really good content on there. Um, thanks to folks like Sky Captain for continually posting some amazing, amazing photos and, um, you know, different food recipes that look so, so tasty. So great job, great job. Everything in this game is well balanced, nothing is over engineered, which makes this game feel um, like survival when you play it. Yeah, they did a great job. It's like, it's pretty hard to thrive in this game. You gotta kinda really do some hard work before you can get to that point. <laughs> 
couple of minutes. Okay. But yeah, I'm enjoying this this episode four update, uh, Hoeve. I'm really excited to see where the <clears throat> survival sandbox so goes. Excuse me. Let's take this outside. Take it outside, Will. <laughs> okay, we definitely have enough moose meat. And I forgot, we're also carrying the hide. That should help. Something's gotta go. Should help a lot. Cheers, hey Overlord. So is it always possible to turn to Milton in episode two? No. It shouldn't be. So, um, Overlord in Marsh Ridge, you know how there's like the Milton Basin? You can't you can't go there from Marsh Ridge, it doesn't let you. And I don't know. What about the cave at Trappers? If you go through the cave at Trappers, what happens? I wonder. Oh, the rope's broken. Yeah, so um that's what happens. You were able to revisit Milton yesterday. Really? Now how did you get there? Did you go from Marsh Ridge? So maybe they've changed things. Maybe they've changed things up. Alright, I think this is enough after we process this meat. And then we can sleep. Everything resets and all the containers are pressed a broken rope point and just cliff hug towards the farmhouse. But how did you get up in elevation? You know what I mean? I, I don't think I'm understanding. Cause like when you go down into the climbing area, there's a broken road, but how do you get up that spot? I didn't know you could barely go up there. So I'm perplexed. One hour for that, I should probably grab that. Paused, oh, of course, paused. Fail. Epic, epic, epic fail. Oh, what a shame. Or will. Alright, let's go to sleep. Shake it off. Hugging the cliff puts you around. Oh, so you didn't even go down. Interesting. You like the pipe puzzles? Yeah, it wasn't bad. The plumber needs fired. I'm in story mode, Valve. Yeah, I'm in story mode right now. So I'm just enjoying uh, discovering all this map has to offer. So Overlord's talking about survival too, though, or um, uh, story mode as well. He doesn't work there anymore. Touche. Touche. All right, let's sleep a bit more and then go. We'll go towards our uh, our objective. Oof. How's our inventory management? Ooh, it's looking good. Why don't we do an arrow before we go? Why not? I think we can build one. If we have the feathers for it, that is. Two arrows? Why not? And we're warm out here. Oh, what a great day to be alive. You really enjoy the story? Yeah, I've been a big fan of this episode. Episode four? Phenomenal. I really have enjoyed um, Blackrock as a region. I think it's challenging, big, and um, it's got lots of cool features that I'm excited to learn more about. Look at this weather. 
Right, I think what we should do though is head back. So let's head from Bricklayers. We're nice and fast, the weather is warm. Doesn't get much better than this. We do need some sticks though, that's for sure. We're low on fuel. the right way? Yeah, yeah, okay. We're actually pretty low on uh, revolver ammo. Oh, these poor wolves. We just slapped them around yesterday, didn't we? Liz Mapgeric said we're all in the chest. Interesting. It's like if you go to um, Pleasant Valley as well in episodes whatever too, you can find Astrid's sweater and stuff in the basement. Just waiting for her to pick it up again. Really weird. Oh pale, yeah, sorry. It's been on and off. It's like it's like it comes and goes every now and then. Uh, like right now, I think we have an issue. Literally, as you said it, I think we got a bit of an issue now. See, I'm slowly starting to get to- oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, 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 that was scary. Almost, we almost met our maker. He reloaded the save, like I shouldn't be there, like, this is too much. It's like when I went over onto the bridge in this in this one. I was like, I'm not supposed to be over here. I'm worried I'm gonna lose this save. So I just like reloaded, got out. Dude, did you just see what happened to your buddy? Uh oh. We got him. Got him in the Oh no! No. No. Let's forget that happened. Brutal. Hey, we can feel our belly here. We got moose meat all over the map now. Look at us go. And that wolf has its, has my arrow in its bottom. We got a good setup. I like it. Okay, let's head uh, down this way and go back. But wait, aren't we supposed to follow the power lines? Oh right, here's the bridge. We were talking about this. This is the other shortcut across. It's kind of hard to see. Just follow it. Yeah, shy guy, I'm really, really enjoying it. You have to sleep, D Rock? Alright, take care. Hope you have a good good rest. Thanks for hanging. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't like that. Alright, we got five, six arrows, so you know what we got we got a little bit to play with. We got a little bit to work with yet. I finished it already, Shy Guy, and I had so much fun that I jumped, just jumped right back into it. I uh, I just want to keep going a little bit longer. I 
Gotta keep keep at it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, I basically just want to just chill, explore the map a bit more. You know, discuss discuss the story, what it means. You know, it's just silly stuff. All right, if we head this way, maybe we go to the old substation. But we're supposed to follow those power lines, anyways, aren't we? Wait, where the heck are we now? Oh, I don't want to go back here. I don't want to. I lost sight now. I can't see. All right, let's head this way and hope we pick up the power lines again. I think I went the wrong way. As much as I'd love to go visit the jailer's residence again. Ah, uh, nuts. Oh, well, there goes that arrow. Oh, okay. Here we go. Where are all the wolves at? Must have missed him. That that wolf can take a hit. These timberwolves are strong. No, it's fine, Shy Guy, it's fine, it happens. Title's basically the same as yesterday. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep move on. This is um This is a weak effort on these Timberwolves part. They know I'm just I'm just too much to handle. Oh here's the bridge. Let's go check this out again. Don't get soft lock, don't don't get soft lock. Ooh, a note. Nice. That's cool. We are pleased to inform you that your paper, Black Hole Collisions and a New Architecture for Dark Energy Cosmology, has been accepted for evaluation and potential publication in Canadian Physics Review. As the publication process moves forward, we will be in touch with you should any issues arise. Warm regards. E. Tonkov, Editor-in-Chief. Some stuff going on, folks. Some cosmic implications. Alright, so if Milton is that away, south. Oh, I'd love to. I want to look at this world map so bad. Have a look around, you know? Got a bedroll now too. Let's go. All right, we're doing it. We're, we're catching an hour of sleep here, folks. And uh, I'm sorry we had so many technical issues today. I'm gonna cut the stream here and do some troubleshooting. But I hope everything is kind of. Uh, oh right, we don't save that way. We save this way. I hope everything's better tomorrow. 
You still haven't found a bedroll. Check here. At the Bricklayer's Retreat, Shy Guy, I think it's always there. <laughs> oh, excuse me. There's another one later on in the story, but this is the one I've always found at the Bricklayer's two out of two times. So prison's here, Cook's Farm is here, Orman's is here, and just straight, straight on through to Bricklayer's. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, sorry it was kind of an off stream. I hate having tech issues like this, but um, we'll, uh, we'll troubleshoot through some stuff here. We'll get our people on it. We'll get the team checking into things, you know? Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Let us find, um, find some raid. Oh, you know what? Let's go, um, let's go visit. Okay, here we go. Hype, what? hype, hype. Get your hype, hype, hype. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go see if I can spell this. All right, folks, we're gonna go visit Rich. Rich is awesome. They've got a great, um, great personality, lovely, lovely demeanor. Thank you, Violacious, Serene, Shy Guy, Finn, Maria. Yeah, I'm sorry, Maria. I wish this could have been a bit more, uh, a bit more of a stream, but you know what? Things happen. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I appreciate your support and your patience. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, I think I'll be getting back into this. Like I said, I want to do I want to do another variety stream and, and another day off stream where I take a day off maybe once in a while, but not tomorrow. I got to stream tomorrow. I got some got some stuff to do. Cindy, thank you. Everyone's still here. Let's go visit Rich. Show some love. Otherwise, take care. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now. Good day, Cool K. Thanks for hanging out. See you later.